mi piace Catalini. Oh, we're speaking Italian. We're speaking Italian. We're speaking Italian. We're speaking Italian. And we have Michael Cappellini here. We were just talking about how great Cappellini pasta is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name. It's like the Pecorini, not the Pecorino. But <laughs> well, you can almost put a little, sprinkle a little of you on him, and we've got a nice Boy, meal. What a match made. I knew that was coming. I knew, I knew that, that was coming. Go with the Uncle Pasta. <laughs> I'm the South Frank, I'm the South Cheech. Cheech. <laughs> anyway, folks, welcome back. Another great interview here. We are flying through PCA 2021, and we have the fine honor of having Having, having Michael here on live, his booth is busy, so we're not going to keep him too long. Yeah, but we do want to push the Toscano cigar line. It's been around a while. Michael is the big shot here for us. We're going to talk to him. Michael, tell us a little bit about Toscano. Before I do, I just want to say grazie mille. Thank oh, you so much for coming. You for, you know, thank you for having us. Obviously, right. um, this year is really exciting for Toscano because it's our first year where we had our own booth. We were distributed with the awesome team at Miami Cigar Company for quite some time. And uh, we grew enough and we were able to, to split. And, uh, you know, it's just an exciting time. A little nerve wracking at first. I won't lie to you. Right. It's, you know, because we get here. But, you know, here we are. Yes. But it's just like hanging out in a cigar lounge, though. Well, that's that's the all whole it point. is. That's Everybody's be, right? just talking cigars, the passion, the love, yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So you, you sound like you've been around. You're just experience. a little bit. Just a little bit. You're no. just nervous. Once you're here, <laughs> you've made it big time. Yeah, well, this I mean, listen, this we're, big boys we're really excited, like I said, and we've had the fortune over the past couple of years to watch Toscano grow from, I, I was saying to one of our retailers earlier when we were sitting down, a lot of people when we first started, would walk in with what's Toscano? Yeah, exactly. What is, what it, what? It's almost like a backwoods. Yeah, like nobody that's what knows. Everybody, that's, everybody's everybody gonna say, to say it's backwoods. Yeah, unless you're from certain neighborhoods. And then they understand. And then everybody right. knows. Right. Right. But right. even then, in America, it's, is that Avanti Peroni or? Uh, 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 yeah, While you're reading the regress. <laughs> 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 no, but it's it's really awesome because now a lot of people, obviously our retailers come up and they're, you know, uh, just so excited that we're here. But people who aren't our retailers yet, we've opened up so many new accounts this year. And it's just it's, it's an absolute blessing to see how people are starting to understand the true passion, love. And desire that Toscano has in each. I mean, listen, when you're smoking Toscano, you're you're smoking 206 years of history. Exactly, unbelievable. I mean, there's not a lot of companies that can, can say that at all. No, but hey, before it's America Italy, was right? born, Rome. That's correct. Uh, we're, we're talking about Rome. We're talking about ancient Italy. Yeah, we're correct. here, Tuscany. 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 The they just smoked in this in the Coliseum. Are you exactly. Me? <laughs> before, I mean, before battle. I mean, listen. At the end of the day, when you look at, you know, for example, our new releases here, the Toscano Nobile. The Toscano oh. Nobile is the same blend that the Medici family smoked. Wow. So we actually, this cigar oh, that's was... That's 1365. Yeah, this... this uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. The, it, it, the whole point behind it is, is that realistically, when you look at uh, Toscano, everything that we do has a historical significance, right? So, like, for example, the Toscano Stil Novo, which is the only Toscano with the binder. Okay. We named it Stil Novo after Dante Alighieri's movement, Stil Novo, or new style, new. because it's a newer style Toscano with the binder, because okay. the rest of Toscano only has wrapper and filler. There's no binder. Right. Then you have the Toscano Originale. The Originale is the original blend from 1815. I mean, you know, and then you have the Toscano Duecento, which we made in two, uh, 2018 to... Uh, commemorate the 200 year anniversary of Toscano. Now, somebody's going to say, yeah, but he said 1815. The first Toscano was actually accidentally rolled in 1815. We celebrated in 2018 the 200 year of the first mass production of the product. So, so it that's, took three years. It took about three years to really to because, get it right. Because Toscano itself, when we first, ultimately what happened was there was a massive rainstorm when they harvested a bunch of our tobacco in Florence that soaked it and nobody knew what to do with it. So the pet tobacconist at that time just said, you know what, let's let it dry in the sun, see what happens. They did that for quite a few days. Got calls from the neighbors. That stuff stinks <laughs> because, the, because the natural ammonia Ammonia's from the fermentation out. is coming out. So then the tobacconist had to be more optimistic and they said, well, we got a barn at the end of the road. Let's just see if we could dry it out a little bit and try to make it more pliable. So they lit a fire underneath it and that was the day that Manifattore Sigro Toscano, uh, Kentucky Seed Tobacco, that's fire cured was born. 
That was wow. it. Huh? And they rolled them rapidly, which is why we our cigars look like they do because they didn't think they would take off. They were just trying to get rid of get them, them out. So, they so wanted that, to get them yes, out. Yes, yes. So that the Duke didn't come and see them because if the Duke came to see you at that taxes, time, it wasn't oh, a good thing. Off, <laughs> off with the head. Yes, it wasn't a good thing. No. You'd end up in the town square, <laughs> and if the Duke calls you to the town square, it's not where you want to be. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> long story short, that's really that's that's how Toscano grew to, uh, and then in, in uh, 1818 they started to mass produce because nobility started to smoke it, and. Uh, uh, sure enough, here we are today in 2000. What are we in? 2021 now, I think. already. Yeah. 21. And, and, and uh, a famous person would, would always smoke them in his movies, right? Yes. Da -da -da -da, Clint, da -da -da. Uh, <laughs> Clint Eastwood always he smoked the uh, Toscano Antico in the Spaghetti Westerns because Sergio Leone, the director of the Spaghetti Westerns, was a big Toscano fan. fan. Nice, you know, nice. So. But that also, you know, the, the historical story that we have. And uh, realistically, for those listening and watching, if you haven't tried Toscano yet, do yourself a favor. And obviously, I'm the brand ambassador, so I'm supposed to say this. But to. in realtà, dovete fumare uno ci, un cigaro it, uh, italiano. toscano, italiano, Tosc sì, yeah. assolutamente. You have to smoke one. I mean, I know when I went to Italy a few years back, that's the first thing I grabbed. Yep. And yep. that's the first thing that was given to me. Yep. And then I brought. I thought it was that nice brunette that was going by. <laughs> no, no, no. She, uh, she, we, we left her on the plane. <laughs> it was the Cabo <laughs> Gold. It was the Cabo Gold. It was the Super Soft. But they don't let you bring that on the plane anymore. No, no, no. they don't. You know, you, I used to be able. Yeah, no. My mom and dad used to be able to smuggle. Yep. Super Soft, no more. Well, the first time that I went to Italy, hopefully nobody from TAA is watching this. <laughs> but I mean, I I brought a bunch of. Uh, Porcini mushrooms oh, that were yeah. dry. Oh, my mother used to sneak egg. them in all the oh, yeah. time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the suitcase, <laughs> in the dresses. <laughs> we, were, we were in my family's, my father's family's from Umbria, so we were there for a festival in Gubbio, and um, my mother calls me the next day, and she said, listen, make sure you bring home porcini mushrooms. I said, porcini mushrooms? Ma, che cavolo voi? How am I going to put this in my bed? Vuoi mangiare un bel risotto? Eh, va bene. Lo porto a casa. No, però da quel punto, quando l'ho sentito quello, l'ho portato il tartufi invece di... Oh, gli altri funghi. These, these are delights here, folks. Yes, sorry. Yes, yes. You know, it's hard to find truffles. someone Italian. To, 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 so, to we're to have relate. a connection. We have this connection. Yes. It's automatic. Immediately. Second best thing in life. Food. <laughs> <laughs> First best thing being Italian. Uh, well, yes. First best thing. You got to go in order. Italian, food, and cigar. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the vino. Exactly. And the vino. And vino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The vino. 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 The yeah, that's yeah. a liquor, folks. We're yes. talking about liquor. Oh, right? they know yeah. grappa. Okay, yeah. everybody it, knows strega too. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the witch. We're not talking about the no, witch. No, that's right. uh, <laughs> I was yeah. trying to keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, no. so what else is happening? What else is going on? How are things turning out? Yeah, how, how are people how are people reacting? You being here alone. I mean, this it's is pretty. Like a it's been uh, again when we first were setting up. You you never know what to expect and. Uh, Really, from the bottom of my heart, I can I can honestly say, and I know that our team here can say the same thing. We're we're blessed. It's just we're overwhelmed with the response that we're getting, um, and it's just been really something awesome to watch. Because when I started with Toscano five years ago, four years ago, excuse me, um, it, it was it was you know it, it was a challenge, and I mean we still have challenges. There's no right. question. Absolutely. Right. Everybody, Everybody does. does. Right. But the more and more the American consumer starts to understand well, that's our product. The thing. That's the it's, thing. It's Getting just, it to the American consumer that they understand it and they don't look to it as a not a high quality right. cigar. See, right. Because they can't make the distinction because they've been trained. Yeah, well, they right, have. It, to see, well, a premium cigar has to look a certain way. Correct. But now, correct. looking at this cigar. But even some premium play, cigars kind of have that, have a, that well, really, well, they, yep. you know, uh, old world. Old world, world wrapping and yep. you know, rolling. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah. it has that look a yep. little bit, you know. Well, it yep. does. And, and you know, we're. We're definitely a rustic cigar, yep. uh, and one of the things that I always talk about when I go across and do events across the United States is we're rustic. We're not ugly. I also told my fiance that the first time she met me, I'm rustic. I'm not ugly. Just give me a second, I promise. But no, kidding aside, at the end of the day, once you really do, like even the feeling of it in your hand, a lot of Oh, gentlemen yeah. and women who smoke the bigger ring gauges, they'll put it in their finger and be like, you know, I didn't think I'd even like how it feels, but I kind of do like <laughs> right. how it feels. This is fantastic. Well, exactly. simple. No and squeeze, that's whatever. It. It's and nice. Sure enough, this is where we're going. And then the more that people are smoking it and understanding the tobacco and the work, the pride, the passion that goes into every cigar we roll, exactly. it's exactly. a no brainer. So, and the fact that you don't need to humidify it. That's a whole is other level, huge. right? That is huge, big time, huge big for time. the American time. consumer, right? I big mean, listen, me, me alone. I, I, I get, I, I'm as I travel, I people give me cigars all the time. It's hard to keep the humidor the right 
when you're yeah, driving, especially when you're traveling, traveling. Them on the road. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So a cigar like this is really, uh, really fantastic. So if you're an outdoors person, no if you don't have Tosca, I'm going to say this: if you don't have Toscano in your side saddle, in your golf bag, in your tackle box, I, I don't, I can't help right. it. You got the wrong Trump cigar, Yacati, That's you know, it. Whatever. No, literally, <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as you're outside and you have a Toscano, you're in good shape. Yeah, that's you it. Know? That's Just it. tell the people once again: how can they get? your cigars if it's not a brick and mortar or a cigar lounge how can they find it so i mean ultimately at the end of the day if you're looking for a brick and mortar go to our website uh www.toscanocigars.com and you'll see where you could see where it's you know where can you find toscano there's a, a store uh, locator so you go there and then in addition to that some of my friends there <laughs> what's up guys uh, <laughs> then uh, you go to uh you can also go to you know all, all the bigger online companies I think the whole also. country right. lights up when you ask where you can buy them, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much all over. Right? Right? We're <laughs> starting to get there when we have a lot of work to do. So any retailers that are watching, please contact us. Let us know right. how we can help because it's a great uh, it's a great product to have. Absolutely. Yeah. And, it's, and it doesn't take up a lot of shelf space. No. Think and, about that. The, no. And again, that's another big selling point for yes. a lot of people is the fact that like it doesn't have to be in the humidor. Right. And we have different stands. Uh, that are that take more vertical than horizontal space, which, as we know, for retailers is mm -hmm. a big thing. Exactly. You don't want a lot of horizontal horizontal space taken. So uh, you know, and, and we're open to ideas too. Toscano, I have to say, the team in Italy that we have, uh, everybody's always open for the discussion, and we try to make everybody as happy as we possibly can. So. Right? Has that has it been a family business? family run business for so, a long time or a lot of people it, ask that right now when you talk about manifattore sigaro sigaro toscano it's a board of uh very um wealthy and powerful people in italy gotcha. uh you like know the it, medici. It, like, like yeah, the medici like the medici it started with a family business but it grew, it grew so, so much, much you know yeah. and i don't know how much do we have do i have a minute or two left or? Sure. Yeah, yeah. i just yeah. don't want to hold you from the you from know no we're good we're okay game. we have okay. we have a great <laughs> a and that's minutes. the other thing the the uh the brokers that we have are phenomenal so even that's if awesome. you know a customer of someone comes the other broker will just get up and help and help you know they, and that we have, we've developed a wonderful team good uh, around that which is awesome but you know i wanted to just tell a quick story a lot of people ask me you know oh, the toscano i hear that you could cut it in half well that that's true in italian we call toscano il sigaro della amicizia the okay. cigar of friendship right. and the reason that they started doing that was because during the world war beforehand production was up demand was up everybody goes to war demand drops production drops those who survived the war came back looking for toscano so demand flew up and once once europe kind of relaxed sure. after the war people wanted toscano again production was down so they started getting whole mm. toscano and cutting them in half or smoking them amezzato yeah. and uh selling them by the half stick to keep up with the demand Man. until they could oh, reach wow. up with the great idea wow. so everything that we like i was saying before i mean we're, the world war changed how toscano did things but right. not how it was created just how it was smoked and how we were able to keep up with but you the guys demands. were proactive not reactive yeah in a sense. Was, you were still ahead of the game with that thought yep not and, and uh, when you think about that. it realistically no. too during that time of you know uh, especially in italy it was oh it was bad not times. an easy yeah. Yeah. Parents were there, yeah. grandparents were there you know you're eating cat and fish and yeah, you know, off the street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You the know. stories my grandma told me was like scary. Yeah, no, there's no question. But uh, you know, it's pretty neat to have the opportunity after those hard times to be sitting here as the uh, United States brand ambassador. It's kind of nice to know, you know that we're, we've we've gotten past that. We've gotten and, past you know. that, and we're still pushing the true culture and the desire of the Italian people. And it's an awesome job to have because seventy percent of our tobacco comes from five regions in Italy: Umbria, gotcha. Toscana, Lazio, Campania, and Veneto. And then the other 30% comes from our farm in Tennessee. So I have the amazing opportunity to help stimulate two economies that are Traveling. near and dear to my right. heart, the American economy and the Italian economy. economy. And fino al fine vado in Italia ogni tanto. Oh, yeah. Why not? That's Why the not? best part. Can yeah. I get a job with you? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. If, if my <laughs> only when you make the trip. <laughs> What's interesting, uh, my cousins in Italy, in uh, Mofetta, okay. Vicino Bari, they... He's a pipe smoker and also, obviously, Toscano. Yeah. What he would do is when he gets to a shorter side, he would put it in his pipe <laughs> and smoke, and it, out smoke of it out of the pipe. I do that, too. They, see? I do. I actually, uh, it's funny. Where I, a lot of times if I smoke my pipe, I'll just take a Toscanello, one of my favorite aromatics, grind it in my hand, cut it in little pieces, grind yeah, it in my yeah. hand, put it in the pipe and smoke it. It's, there you go. So, put you know, that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> 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 
And with that, folks, <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you, Mike Capolini, here for Toscano Cigars. We are, I know they're busy, but uh, thank you very much for thank your you. time. Thank you, guys. Too. Thank, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Just Gracias the, the a honor having oh, you. Thank you very much. A la próxima. Forza Azzurri. Forza Azzurri. Forza Azzurri. Hey, Italy, 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 Italy on... plays the hooligans. Yep. <laughs> Go Italy. <laughs> Hold on, Menos folks. Menos cinco minutos. Dia, dia. Forza Azzurri. We're moving shortly over to Lotus. We'll be right back. Grazie. Ciao.